alaikum and good morning. Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about the overview of wastewater treatment plant and uh, with this topic I think it, it is kind of a wrap up uh, topic because we are going to discuss uh, uh, the important component in uh, uh, wastewater treatment in a wastewater treatment plant and uh, for myself I did uh, cover the uh, sugar uh, sugar line so uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the first of all it's a source of wastewater uh, we're going to discuss about the what are the component number two what are the component inside the conventional wastewater treatment process and number three uh, we're going to discuss about what is the the differences between centralized uh, and decentralized system in uh, which in uh, wastewater treatment plant and uh, number four uh, we discuss about the disinfection process uh, and number five is uh, the disposal of the sludge okay so wastewater is uh, water that uh, have been used uh, by by us uh, for the domestic purposes, agricultural uh, purposes, and industrial uh, purposes. All this water go into large pipe, pipe that we can we we call it the sewer, and the sewer take all the wastewater to the treatment plant. So uh, everybody use water. We have domestic use, agricultural use, and industrial use. And then those water will be become wastewater, and uh, it flow to flow to flow through uh, sewer, and the sewer will go to the treatment plant. This is uh, one example. But this is um, municipal uh, sewage treatment plant and the uh, sewerage could be come from it could be from uh, <coughs> uh, domestic uh, area township area and from the industry and so industry could be like food industry chemical industry and uh, beverage and soft drink industry and after the treatment so the water can be used let's say we have two type of uh, uh, residual so you have effluent and you have the uh, biosolid which is uh, the sludge so the water uh, the effluent we can use for landscape irrigation we can uh, <coughs> for sludge biosolid we can use for soil uh, stabilization soil conditioner uh, and uh, we also can use for agricultural fuel. So, uh, so the domestics, uh, the word uh, sewage usually brings uh, like toilet to mind. Meaning that when we talk about so sewage, mostly we uh, we think about the uh, toilet for toilet water. So. Uh, it actually is used to describe all type of wastewater generated from every room in in a house, sink, bathroom, and laundry. So there are two type of domestic sewage. We have black water and grey water. So black water is wastewater from from toilet, and grey water is wastewater from all sources except toilet. So non domestic is the discharge by manufacturing process hospital, farm, restaurant and other commercial enterprises such as laundry 
It also includes storm water that is non residential source and carries thrust and other pollutant from trees as well as pesticides, fertilizer from yard and field. So, in our case, uh, the storm water is not included because, like in Malaysia, it's storm water and uh, the sewage will be will ha will have the will have different pipe different sewer so storm water will be in the, the drainage and for the sewage will be from the uh, will be accommodated by the sewer uh, so for the industrial wastewater usually they need to have pre treatment so industrial wastewater must be uh, pre treated uh, before they uh, dispose into the municipal uh, sewer system. Uh, for example, uh, screening, grid chamber, or any crystal wall. This is pre treatment they should have. Approach is to remove material that will not be treated by municipal system. Local authority must monitor and regulate industry discharge. And uh, for the organ organism, what is in uh, wastewater? So in wastewater, it consists of uh, organism. So organism is a living thing. For example, animal, plant, fungus, and microorganism. And uh, a microorganism may uh, either by uh, unicellular or it could be uh, many billion of cell group into a specialized tissue and organ. Uh, variety of bacteria, uh, protoza and and work. Uh, uh, very type of bacteria, protoza and worm work to break down uh, certain carbon based organic pollution in wastewater by consuming them. So this is important, uh, important because in wastewater we really based on all these bacteria, protozoa, and, and worm. <coughs> uh, to break down the uh, organic carbon, uh, organic carbon in wastewater. A pathogen is a biological agent that causes disease or illness to the host. So the term pathogen is from the Greek that is which produces suffering. The body contains main natural defense against some of the component pathogenic form of a human mm -hmm. immune system and by some helpful bacteria. And after we have organism, pathogen and organic matter. Organic matter is is matter that has come from one living organism is uh, capable of decay or the product of decay or is composed of organic compound an organic compound is very in is any member of a large class of chemical compound whose uh, molecular contain carbon so this is important important uh, element it's not important element for to be used for us but this is important element that uh, the objective of the wastewater is to eliminate the organic carbon as much as possible. Okay, so this is uh, we did see this uh, already. So we have weak uh, wastewater. The strength of the wastewater is weak, medium, and strong. <coughs> wastewater treatment. Uh, conventional wastewater treatment consists of combination of. Uh, physical, chemical, and, and biological processes. So its operation is to remove solid organic matter and sometimes nutrient from the wastewater. So you can see that. Uh, the main objective of the wastewater uh, treatment, wastewater treatment is to remove the solid. So this is one component. Another one is the organic matter and sometimes okay, nutrient. So sometimes if uh, the NPK is, you know, NPK, uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium is high in the wastewater, we may 
uh, stop for a while in we may design one uh, one unit to dedicating for removing all those uh, NPK the nutrient in some country disinfection to remove pathogen sometime follow the last uh, treatment step so <coughs> In uh, some country, disinfection may be necessary, but for us, uh, in the tropical area, so perhaps it's not so necessary because we are hot, and then we have hot weather, and the hot weather will uh, usually the pathogen. Uh, sorry, uh, the the uh, yes, the pathogen uh, the pathogen may may not. Uh, last for longer in the last longer but it depends if the pathogen concentration inside the wastewater is so high so you have to we have to consider about so high means so high in the effluent so if they has it is high in the effluent and then you think that this is may harm the ups may harm the downstream uh, downstream uh, inhabited, so it is necessary to uh, disinfect, uh, prepare the disinfection unit uh, before the uh, effluent release into the atmosphere. The objective of waste water treatment plant, one of the principal objectives is to prevent, to prevent as much of this oxygen demand, organic material, <coughs> as possible. Okay, so we had to prevent main objective is to prevent uh, uh, oxygen demand organic material okay so because organic material will consume uh, more oxygen uh, actually it's, uh, the it should be organic material will be decomposed by uh, the bacteria and the bacteria when they while composting the bacteria uh, composting the organic matter matter the more population of bacteria, the better uh, decomposing the organic material. So, uh, the more population of the bacteria mean the more oxygen demand is required. So that's why uh, the m to compose the organic material, so more oxygen should uh, uh, it will be uh, it will be necessary. So the other activity of wastewater treatment include removal of the oxygen objectionable item, nutrient, and heavy metal. So this is the second objective, not the primary one. Okay, so in the conventional waste product treatment, okay, we uh, stop here for a while, and then we will continue on the uh, unit of the conventional waste water treatment.